this is a problem. Yeah. This is a problem. <laughs> So I feel like you guys have seen me do Lush hauls before. You know, I do them all the time on the channel. So I thought today we'd do something a little different. I'm here at Lush on Queen Street West here in Toronto. We're gonna do a little shop with me. So let's just go in and start shopping. Oh, hello, hello. Hey guys, hey Nicole. How are you? Good, how are you? Nice to see you. Okay, you guys may recognize Nicole. We went to London together. We've been to Vancouver together. We've done Toronto together. We've done everything, yep. the factory tours. So we're back here to do a little Lush shop today. I thought I would walk you guys through some of my favorite products, restock up on my favorite ones because you know I go through them really quickly. And I heard from a little birdie that you have some new launches slash new products here. I mean, we may have a sneak peek for you. Well, I'm very excited. I'm already sweating because I'm that excited. And it was hot out. Don't know which one it is. Let's get started. Lush doors. Oh, it's home. It's home, guys. The thing is, okay, so I just moved and I don't have that much storage room anymore. Yeah. So I like feel like I need to be such a conscious shopper now. Yes. I'm like, I can't put things anywhere. I'm oh my goodness. Okay, so I feel like... I always need to stock on bubble bars. I'm like, I smell comforter, and I'm like, mom. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely gonna have to stock up on one of those. I love how big these are too, because you can get like so many uses out of them. Yeah, a lot of people break them up and like get two, three baths out of yeah. this. So it's definitely not like a bath bomb where it's just a single use item that yeah. you in the tub. That's another thing I see on the internet. People are like, Chuck in those a, solid toss a bubble bar in the tub. You gotta break this up, crumble it under yeah. running water, and it'll create those Hollywood lifestyle kind of bubbles yeah. for you. What's been like the biggest misuse of a product that you've seen besides just like chucking a bubble bar? Um, the water? There's a lot of staff stories from our shops where people yeah. just have bike, bike marks in products because they look so, yeah, they smell great they look delicious they look like confection yeah um so and this one literally says candy so yeah so i guess i could see how that, that could is happen. probably one of our biggest misuses where people take a bite out of our product oh you know what this is what i need it's been like a little stressful this past month with the move and everything so i feel like french kiss is the epitome of like soothing calm down it's just like the most relaxing oh hello hello you want to introduce yourself for the vlog? Yes, my name is Louisa. I work at Queen Street West. I've been here for like about a year now. What do you guys love for bubble bars? Like if you had to pick one, I know that's like the hardest thing because they're all your babies, but what would you pick? Sunny side is an obvious like love of mine because mm. of all the glitter. Yeah. You mix it in basically anything that's like matte and just like make it the shimmeriest bath of all time. It also looks like you're bathing mm. in champagne if you're yeah. doing it. Like a um, birthday bath. Yeah. That's Okay, I feel like also since it's summer, I've got to do one bright side. I know I feel like since they're all handmade, they all look a little different, so I always have fun picking out. Ooh, this one looks good. Looks like a little citrus swirl. Okay, let's do a rose jam too. Oh my God, I'm getting carried away. You know what's so crazy? I used to always think I was a bath bomb girl over bubble bar, but lately, I feel like I've been leaning to bubble bars more than bubble bath bars. bombs. Okay, I need to leave the bubble bars. We need to move on. Next up, I feel like I gotta do bath bombs. Then I can make like, little bath cocktails and find good matches for the bubble bars with the bath bombs. I feel like I also need to see some demos. That's my favorite thing about a Lush store when you get like the demos going. Ooh, yes, work it. Blue. I actually used this one the other yeah. day. I didn't know how to like clean it out. I'm like, I definitely can't just stuff that down the drain. This was something of adulting that I was like, do I just shove it down and pretend the problem doesn't <laughs> exist? No, I took an actual like pasta strainer and like strained out all the seaweed. Do you see that? It's like what, two or three bath bombs in one? To celebrate 30 years of bathing realness, we've released over 50 new bath bombs and each shop has its own curated selection. Like they get to decide oh, like, really? this is what we want to carry in store. So yeah, this is Rose Jam scented. Okay, I didn't know that this was even a bath bomb. Yes, it is. Rose Jam, maybe. And it's so cute. I mean, oh, baby. If you look at this, it's like they work our shop, our manufacturing staff are like bakers. They hand ice these with a piping bag. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's like literally everything is handmade. I know this smell, and this is gonna drive me nuts. I need to guess it. Don't tell me, don't tell me, even if I ask. It's so annoying. Scent memory is the craziest but most accurate thing. Like, it brings you back to a specific moment, and I know I smelled this. I like can envision. 
Give me a hint, give me a hint. Um, it's part of hair care. Oh, Avocado co wash. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Let's add that to the cart. Guys, I don't have the room for this in my condo anymore. <laughs> Stop helping this like addiction. This is magic. Yeah. Magic, not magic. I'm just adding my own flair to that. <laughs> oh. Good. It's like heaven but not. It's definitely like more of like a a little zing to it. Yeah. yeah. So what, there's, like, there's the parsley in there. So the oh. parsley is gonna be really fantastic to just kind of like really ground you with the smell. Um, and it's also a bit of like a color shifting yeah. bath bomb. Oh really? Spoiler alert. Like. Okay, I need you know, this. That I need. Yeah, it's really. I can't good. say no to like the new bath bomb. Yeah. I also feel like what I'm kind of on the hunt for. I'm actually. Yeah. Everyone who's watching this is gonna roll their eyes because I've been talking about this in my podcast way too much. But I'm training for a half marathon right now, so I'm like training a lot more than ever and I'm running more than ever and I've been like more sore than ever before because I yeah. don't think my body was built for a half yeah. marathon. Yeah. Um, so I feel like I need a lot of like pampering and like soaking and like helping my muscles. So I feel like peppermint's gonna be good for that. Yeah, no, it'll be fantastic. That one's gonna be really nice. Okay. Like stimulating the body, really going to like help with like um, blood flow all around. So you can use that before or after. It's okay, magic. We're, we're taking a magic too. Yeah, Wait, no, this. <gasps> Wait, shut up. Yes. Yuzu and Coco. Y'all know this. This is my all-time <laughs> favorite Lush scent. So you guys discontinued the shower gel. You discontinued everything that smelled like it. I'm like, actually having a moment right now, guys. Okay. I need to smell this. Thank you so much. Also, love the packaging. If you have triphobia, though, I don't know how you're gonna feel about this one. <laughs> Yep. Wow, it's honestly as good as I remember. Are you guys surprised? Are you surprised? We finished bath though. I think we should move on to soap because soap was actually the first thing that I fell in love with that lash. Just the idea of it being like in bulk and you being able to cut and like feel the soap and get any size you want. It just is so exciting to me. And I don't have any, I don't think I have any soap actually right now, solid soap. So I feel like I might need a little stock up. This is your favorite, right? Sandstone. Why is it your favorite, Nicole? Because of the sand, so it's such a pretty, fine, pretty exfoliant for your skin. A lot of people like to use like ocean salt yeah. for their body. I save that for my face, but this one is like, I buy a chunk that's about that size, yes. and I grab it and just like get to work, like on yeah. your thighs, on the back of your thighs, you know, helping. So good for summer, I feel like. You yeah. just wanna like slough away any dead skin. And exactly. Just really, like polish up. Exactly. Okay, so Sultana might be my favorite soap. Parsley porridge is a close second, but Sultana, I think, takes the cake. It's just so creamy. Yeah, there's it, there's no so decadent. This one. It's not as vigorous, so it won't dry you out as um, as like other soaps though. Yeah. Can't leave without a little Sultana. Rockstar makes me think of my mom every single time I smell it. Mm. And also being 12 years old and this being the first product I ever wanted to try at Lush. A lot of people like products that smell like food. Yeah, I, like I get candy, that. And this is definitely one of them. It smells like bubble gum. Okay, body care, skincare. You guys know this is like the true essence of what I love. Nicole, what do I like need to know? Obviously I have my favorites. I feel like I've tried almost like everything, but what stands out that like you so, love? I feel like one of our hidden gems is definitely these solid body tints that people yes. often overlook. So one of which is the shimmy shimmy. Even texturally, it'll feel a little gritty because there's a bunch of synthetic mica, so plastic free glitter again. Good for the oceans because yes. we love not it's hurting our earth. Exactly. Um, but essentially- what Oh my God. Give your body some intense shimmer. Is the camera even seeing that? Can you see all that like, glitter? Is there the Kirakira for- Kirakira IRL <laughs> for sure. Okay, so my favorite thing about Lush is that you can go in stores and get demos. So we've got a little skincare yes. demo moment happening here. Show them the beautiful collection here. <laughs> so Aquamarina is what is in a black pot. Um, so what we're gonna do with this guy is we're gonna break just a little bit off. And Aquamarina is a face and body cleanser. So you're gonna get a little wet. Remember I used to love this one back yeah. in the days. But I've been using, I use Herbalism now or Ancient okay. on Bare Skin. Yeah. 
but I remember back when I was like 14 or 15, like there was a few years where I loved using this because it, yeah. it's moisturizing, but yeah. it almost like leaves a mattifying kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So calamine really powder is very much like present in this guy specifically, which is what makes it like super creamy, but yeah. also like really, really matte. Like I wear the worst outfit to shop at Lush. I'm in all white today oh in the most God. colorful store. Back in the day, I used to use skin shank all the time when I was super dry in the winter, but I definitely don't, don't need that for summer. Oh, I see the baby. Yes. Celeste, I have three Best pots. Friend. I have three pots right now at home, so I definitely don't need more, even though I want to take the whole stock. Right. Actually, that's a lie. This is my last skincare product. Now we can move on. Now we can move on. Yeah, actually my hair is pretty normal. I wouldn't say it's particularly oily or particularly dry. It's just very like shiny and like non-voluminous. Okay, so that's probably my so biggest like, concern. Need the yeah, need the volume, but I yeah. love anything that's like reparative. I do heat style my hair quite a bit. Right, fair enough. So I like I've done roots before. That's really nice. Yeah. This is so nourishing because it has like rosemary in it, which is really toning for the scalp. Yeah. The whole oil in it to help with like moisture and. Really oh, moisture. you know what I do need to stock up on? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. If I have any beauty lovers watching this, my favorite soap slash solid shampoo to wash my brushes in is trick trichomania is that how i say it oh really the coconut solid shampoo because oh. there's a bit of texture in there so it really gets into the bristles yeah. and they also smell amazing so life hack if you guys are looking for a good brush cleanser yeah. i love doing trichomania okay fun fact one of my favorite things from lush are their shower gels i use them as soaps and my soap pumps at home i use them obviously as shower gel right now i'm super into happy hippie because it's so good for summer but one of my all-time faves is Honey, I Wash the Kids, which just smells like caramel and decadence. Really everything that I love about life. Okay, I've been shopping up a storm, but I've got the gift wall back here, which Lush always has the cutest, like, wrapped gifts and the most amazing bundles. Um, anyway, so you guys have been so supportive of all my Lush videos, and beyond that, like, it's just so... It truly is so impactful when I see your messages and you guys DM me on Instagram and you're like, oh my God, Jack, when I use that face mask and it really helped my acne or things like that. And it's crazy to know that what I do in these videos actually reach you guys and have somewhat of an impact on your lives. Um, anyway, so as a way to say thank you, I did want to do a little lush giveaway. So I'm going to go to the gift wall here and pick out what I think will be the perfect gift to give to one of you guys. I want something that is going to be like very pampering, luxurious, but also maybe if someone hasn't tried lush before and they've just seen all these videos, mm -hmm. would be like a good introduction to the brand. Mm -hmm. Do you have any suggestions? I what I should pick out for a lovely do. subscriber. So one of the first things that stuck out to me was this gift over here. It's called the Night Garden. And inside you'll Ooh. find four items, some of which are like, have been all around for a long time or just like big fan favorites. Sleepy Shower Gel yeah. and Sleepy Body Lotion. These are so popular, I love these products. Yes. This is the same smell as Twilight and mm. like this body lotion in particular went viral last year. And is this Buffy? Is this and what this I tried on my Buffy. arm? Yes it is. I love Buffy. So again, this is really hydrating and moisturizing. Great body butter, like a two-in-one yeah. in your shower, pat to dry, you're good to go. And then again, you were saying your favorite. My Sultana soap. Yes, so this is a version that comes in gifts. Um, and this one again is like creamy, yeah. luxurious, really good and uh, softening for your skin. So I would highly recommend, mm. this is like a people pleaser. This is very say. luxury, Nicole. There's so many good options. I like this because you get a variety of products. You get a soap, you get a body butter, a shower gel. I feel like though, is there any way that I could get a bath bomb and like add it into the gift? 100%. Yeah. It's easy with, like we can just lift up the top and maybe okay. add like a butter bomb. That's or what I was something. thinking. Butter bomb might add um, more that perfectly. That way they get a little bath with this one. Mm. But yeah, totally easy to do. I hope the bath bomb survives while I'm shipping this out. There we go, the little butter ball. Let's get them inside. Thanks for your help picking this one out. I think that's a great gift. I would die if I like received that. So if you guys do want to enter to win that Lush gift, I will leave all the details down below. It's going to be over on my Instagram, at Jacqueline Forbes. I'll leave the post in the video description at the very, very top. So you can just click that and then learn how to enter to win that gift. This one right here. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? You can write a note to oh, the winner. Oh, that's like, so cute. From, from Toronto. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah.
So I didn't want to spoil it right off the top, but we're also in because there's a bunch of really new, exciting, exclusive launches happening actually today. It'll be out today when this video goes live. So I actually haven't even seen any of these new products. I have no idea what they are. <sighs> okay, well here it is. Here are all the new products coming to Lush today. This little cloud shaped soap. Ariana Grande is quaking. <laughs> beauty Guru. Beauty, beauty Gurus, oh my goodness. Okay, here you go. Smell it. Is this Sleepy? Yeah. Sleepy is. Soap. You got it, that's the name of the soap. This one, over here. So it's like a crushed Easter egg. Do you recognize this? I know this smell. You do. I know it. You know it. Tell me, I don't know. This it. one is American Cream Press Solid Conditioner. Oh, I would not have guessed that. Shower oil. Shower oil. So this is like a much more gentle cleanser than you would with like a shower gel or soap or something like I that. I love this one. What is this? Coco Loco shower, Naked Shower Oil. And this one looks like a dragon fruit. What is this? Yeah. Dragon fruit? Uh, dr Argan Dragon. Yeah, uh -huh. Naked shower oil. Guys, I'm like guessing, guessing yeah, all the things today. You just are so ingrained with uh, Lush that you know everything. It's intuitive for you. This one I'm really, really excited about. It's so cute. What is it? Another naked um, scrub. This one is called Easy Peeler. So smell this one. I mean, I love scrubs. You guys know I love anything that has a bit of exfoliant. Beauty guru life. This another, looks crazy. What is this? Another scrub. This one's called Aurora Borealis. So this one is a lot more crumbly than the Easy Peeler we just saw. Yeah, it looks like it's like a sugar cube, but rainbow. Yes. Ah. A jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. This one looks crazy. Ooh. Crazy. The shimmer, It's this is a mermaid shower gel. Smell that one. <laughs> oh, almost just dropped the precious <laughs> cargo. Oh my god, is it sleepy? Yes, it is. That one is Twilight Shower Jolly. Again, part of that same sleepy family. Oh my god, wait, I'm sorry. I just see that there's a lip scrub that says cookie dough, and you know that cookies are my favorite dessert. Uh, this is cookie dough lip scrub. And I want you to like open it up, take a whiff. You're going to want to eat it. Oh my god. I don't know why we didn't do Oh this my god. Gonna, do you want to eat it? Like I want to try it out right now, but I have lipstick on, but I'm like, I think it's worth taking it off and snacking on a little bit. These are all vegan too, right? That is vegan. So think of cookies. If you've ever made cookie dough before, this it's essentially unreal. like sugar and butter. I'm and sorry, wait, what? Now you can use this on your lips. Hazelnut oil. It's a gift that like, there is like a depth to it. You know what's crazy? I use the mint juleps lip scrub religiously. Like that's my favorite. I've tried all the new seasonal ones and like they're nice, but I always go back to mint juleps. Mm -hmm. But I, I already have a feeling. I think we have a new winner. I can't even explain how good it smells. I, maybe I'm just like delusional and hungry right now and I need lunch, but I also think it might just be that that might be the most delicious thing I've ever smelled. It smells. is really good. I mean, like might be not using with cocoa, which you know how I feel about using with cocoa. It got out of hand, guys. It got very out of hand, okay? Okay, so I think I've been in this Lush store for probably like two and a half hours. I've been having way too much fun. I think I'm just about getting ready to check out. I've got like two baskets full. This was a big, a big shop today. But this just means you got a Lush haul coming. So uh, I'm doing it for you guys, not because I have a shopping problem at Lush. I'm gonna get some musclas after carrying this. Okay, I think I'm ready. Yeah, sure. There's a lot in here, but... <laughs> Part of it's a giveaway guess, so it's not all for me. Part of it. <laughs> We're loaded down. Oh, it is sunny outside. And that's a wrap on the shop with me. I'm gonna go back though to my house and then walk you guys through all the products because I'm not sure if you saw everything and I'm sure you guys are dying to know. So, let's go back to the house. Okay, so I actually brought my own bags to Lush because reduce, reuse, recycle. Actually, this is my favorite bag. I actually got this at the Lush showcase um, a few years ago recycled material girl wearing my Lush shirt. I'm all Lushed out today. Okay, honestly, I feel like the easiest way is to actually just take the camera and then and then I'll just kind of show you this way. There's a ton of the new bath bombs, the ones that I haven't tried before. Actually, they're all new to me except for the intergalactic one. I have used this one before. The rest are all new. I think I'm most excited for this Yuzu and Coco one, but honestly, each one is like so special in their own way. This turmeric latte one also smells so good. Oh, I can't even like pick which one I want to try out first. I'm so excited. I am just set for bathing for the next little while. 
Next up, we've got some shower gels over here. I have a little bit of shampoo. I've actually tried rehab before, but like years ago, so I wanted to give it another go. Um, some of that sandstone soap, my favorite thing for washing my brushes. Obviously, this cleanser smells amazing, so I wanted to give this another try. And then some of the new launches as well. Of course, can't forget about the iconic cookie dough lip scrub. Oh my goodness. I'll probably have to edit out the amount of times that I'm talking about it because I feel like I've talked about it for like two hours today. It's just that good. Then over here, we've got the bubble bars that I ended up picking out. So I've got five of them. I feel like these are some good flavors that will complement some of, I guess not flavors, scents. <laughs> There's some good scents that will complement some of the bath bombs because depending on the day, I will like to kind of take half of a bubble bar and throw that in with a bath bomb as well and kind of make a little bath cocktail. Then I've got the giveaway gift back there. Then I've got the new sleepy scented soap. I got a little piece of coal face. I actually haven't tried this face cleanser in so, so long. And with all the traveling that I've been doing lately, I feel like it'll be good to have a solid piece of soap to wash my face. And also since there is so much charcoal, I feel like it's just really good for summertime because I'm just a sweaty human. And this I feel like will help balance me out. And then finally here, we just have the other new products. I am so, so excited for these shower oils. I cannot explain it to you. I can't even pick a favorite between the two. They both smell so good, but both are so different. Um, wow, I'm just, I'm truly so, so pumped for those. Now I know I am slightly crazy with the amount of products here, but I'm just so, so excited. Let me know if you guys did like the style of video, like the shop with me kind of thing. I thought it was just something different. I never do videos like this, and I thought it was just kind of like an interesting way to spice up like a regular Lush haul. Um, anyways, I feel like I've got a lot of bathing in my future, specifically tonight. I definitely just, I have to do the Yuzu and Coco. Hmm, this is just my kind of scent. Anyways, make sure you guys go enter the giveaway to win that Lush goodie box over on my Instagram at Jacqueline Forbes or by clicking the link down in the description box. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Thanks guys so much for watching the video. I'll see you very soon and happy bathing. Bye.